In this question, we have to compare the natural domains of F and G, where you can see that F and G are same after if we do some algebraic expression on F. So we can, what are those expressions, uh, operations? So if we take X common from the first one, then we are left with X plus one, the first and the second one, and then in the denominator, we also have x plus 1. So they cancels out each other. We are left with x. So you can see that f and g, they're both similar function, same functions if we do some algebraic operations on the function f. But the domain of both of them are different. So if we look at the function f, the domain of F is the dome of F. How do we say that? Is that all x values where x plus 1 is not equal to 0. In the denominator, we cannot have 0, so the denominator shouldn't be 0. That means x is not equal to minus 1. So the domain of F is all x values except x is minus 1, while the domain of G is the whole real number line or the whole set minus infinity to positive infinity. Okay? Now, in part B, again, if we look at the F, and if we take square root common, we are left X plus 1, and in the denominator we have X plus 1, they cancels out each other. We are left with square root x, which is the same as the g of x. But if we want to find out the domain of f, then it has two things in it. The first is that the denominator should not be equal to zero, which means x is not equal to minus 1, but there is also a square root on top, right? So, in the square root, we said that it should be either 0 or greater than 0. Whatever is inside the square root, it should be either 0 or greater than 0. So, we put that x is greater than or equal to 0. Now, we need to find out the intersection of these two compute the complete domain of f. So on real number line, we have minus 1 and we have 0 here. The first one says that minus 1 is not included. The rest, all of them are included according to this. And according to this, we say that 0 is included and all the numbers which are greater than 0. So we can see wherever we can find the intersection. So basically the intersection starts from here. The domain of F is x greater than or equal to 0 or from 0 to positive infinity. And you can see is the same for the g of x. So the domain of g would be whatever is inside the square root it should be greater than or equal to 0 which is the exact same as this one so both have the same domain 